Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn. Last time we left off, we made it to the depths of the Palace of the Dead, and uh, a few things happened. Um, someone mentioned uh, some things about Batarin here. Uh, oh god, yeah. Oh Jesus. Um, so, so someone mentioned when you're when you're making cursed weapons, you should totally take off all the equipment. I kept on all the equipment because um, the thing I was looking at said that you know the stats were determined by the equipment. So I'm guessing that's why this thing has like nine in every single stat here because I had left all the equipment on. But it made the weight incredibly high. Like, look at that. The the weight is stupid high. So. That being said, it looks like, yeah, the RT was plus like 40 something, but if I put this on, then it still says RT plus five here. Huh. Yeah, and this says minus five. So it does actually still bring my RT down. It, it weighs a, well, I thought, yeah, the, the RT is plus 48, but putting on the Assassin's Blade actually adds RT? I'm not sure why that would be. Huh. But yeah, for, for future cases, I'll strip the character um, naked. Apparently, it, in the newest version of the game, how this works changed as well. There were various things that were different. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure why. The RT says plus 48, so you think it would be... This would not add RT. I guess it's the weight of the dagger here that affected it. Whereas it looks like the Batarin has no weight, period. I'm guessing that's what makes up for the RT difference. Because, yeah, I saw it was better than my old dagger, even with RT, so... That must be it. I guess these things just don't weigh anything? Because for the weight, it just has nothing. Weird. Once again, another one of those things where it's different in, like, every version of the game. So, uh, it can be very confusing. Alrighty. Well, let's see what we got here. Um, the other thing that was mentioned by a few people was um, I don't actually have the fourth uh, Heavenly God weapon. Um, that's in San Bronza. That's fine, though, because I can't fight Blackmore now anyway. Uh, I reconfirmed what I saw on the wiki yesterday, and yeah, it straight up says, like, Blackmore is not available while you're searching for Warren. Um, so we're gonna, we would have to come back in here anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish Coda 2... So I will get an anchor point in Coda 3. Then I can go back, get more shift stones from a shift stone grind spot in another um, anchor point in Law. Come back, make more palace guides. Go to San Bronza, get the weapon that I'm missing, then use the palace guides to go all the way up to 75 in Palace of the Dead and fight the, the Blackmore character that is uh, on floor 100. Um but I need the four weapons for that, and I can't do it now anyway, so we'll finish off uh, Coda 2, and then we'll do that. Uh, let's look at this again. So much to do in this game, and it's all very confusing because there's so many different versions of it. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, cool, they don't have lock. Thank God. All right, there we go. Arcel finished the final enemy off with a one. <laughs> And we survived with one HP. Frustrating. But hey, we get more charms. This place does drop a ton of charms. Very nice. Alrighty. Uh, so now we're on to floor 102. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to refer to the map here uh, while this level's going along just to make sure I'm going the right way here. Um, I do know a shop is down one of these paths. And that's definitely something I want to keep an eye out for, so... There we go. Another battle down. Uh, we're not gonna get all the charms because Olivia went down, but, uh... Ooh, we got a wise man staff! Ooh, okay, wait, that could be good. Shield of the Tundra, which I'm guessing is just the, um, the ice elemental shield. That staff could be very nice, though. Ooh, we got the dex charms. Who gives a shit about the avoidance ones? Yeah! Awesome. Alrighty. So, let's see what that, uh, that new thingy does there. I just realized my dishwasher is going. Hopefully that's not showing up in, uh, the audio at all. But I haven't really been talking much anyway, so. Uh, so who's missing a good staff? 
I mean, they all have staves at this point, but yeah, we can get you some better ones. So, oh, uh, the wise man's staff is two-handed. It does give you the MP charge, though. Um, yeah, and of course I have another sage staff as well. So we'll get extra mine from this, but we'll lose wisdom. Eh, not crazy about it. If I get some more of them, I can uh, upgrade them, though. That'd be nice. So, here's our shop. How may I be of service? Wow, it's a lich. <laughs> lich shop. Awesome. Well, that's, that's interesting. Okay. I don't really think there's much in here that I want in particular. Uh, but, hey, I mean, it exists. Uh, I suppose there's those two pieces of food that I haven't gotten yet. Um, but let's go ahead and upgrade some relics, why don't we? Because I have a few of these I could upgrade. Um, we did get a third sage staff, so I could upgrade, like, Kashua's staff here. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And Fafnir's heart, I could upgrade with my, uh, second Fafnir's heart. Beautiful, beautiful. You're quite sure. There you go. And Lexar's Beloved. I don't think we have another one of those. Uh, what's the other... Oh yeah, the other the other weapon... The, the other weapon uh, What's-Her-Face is using is just Brynhildr. Um, I suppose I can upgrade this. Even though I'm not going to use it. It'll just free up some space here. Yep, so, sure. there you go. And... Yeah, sure, we'll upgrade Durandal with yeah, another Durandal. Sure. And... I have two Thunderfires. So, sure. You're quite sure. There we go. And... Denim's Assassin Blade can be updated... Or upgraded with another Assassin's Blade. So... Might as well go ahead and do that as well. There you go, Denim. Alrighty. And then as far as these go... Uh... Yeah, sure. God, I have a lot of Thunderbows. It's kind of ridiculous. Acceptable. Acceptable. There we go. Oh yeah, something else somebody mentioned about the weapon for Denim is, uh... Ideally, you want a weapon that's the same element as your, as your character, which does... Yeah, I mean, that checks out. Um, I just, based off of the wiki that I was looking at, it seemed like getting your element was random, but someone mentioned that one of the changes was the element of your weapon is actually based off of, um... The element of your weapon is actually based off of what element the person you sacrificed was, which is interesting, uh, and a much better system. Also, I guess they increase how much of each kind of relic you can have, because I remember seeing that you could only have three of any one type of relic, but, uh, we have five Petronels, so that must have changed. I am quite sure. Uh, and yeah, we should be good there. Don't really care about a lot of the stuff here. So, cool. That looks good to me. Still wish I got more winged rings, but, uh, sadly, no such luck. Alright, let's drop another quick save here, and head to Palace of the Dead 104. Let's see what we got. I'm using RSL in these fights, she does like no damage, but her ability to charm enemies consistently is pretty nice. Wow, no beasts or golems or anything, just humans. This is gonna be a very fast one. Missed the ending of that one, but uh, we all finished. We got another Brand of the Sacrifice. Ooh, five intelligence charms. Oh my god, that's super nice. My cat has decided that they're gonna hop up here with me. Hello, friend. Alright, floor 105. I think it's like 115? I wanna say that this ends. Can't quite remember, though. This is just a 10 enemy floor, 2 Dargons, or was that 3 Dargons? We already have Yunin on the kill Dargons mode. So, yep, we're good. Alright, that should be a dead reptile. Reptilian lady. Bum bum bum. 
someone actually went down? Huh, didn't notice. That was a very, very fast fight. Oh. Oh, never mind. There just wasn't a third thingy. No charms for me, just, just XP charms, which are, uh, a lot less useful. Oh, hey! The king was very sad to lose his war. Was he? What? You're the boy from before. So sad. Even when he died, he was sad. And then he was taken. Poor king. His wishes never came true. What are you? The king needs help, sir. He was taken after he died. Because, yeah, it mentioned Roderick, like, died in, um, in prison, you know, or in whatever, right? While being held. Perhaps that boy is trapped here, too. And this king he speaks of. Yeah, let's go check the, uh, the Warren report here. Um, where were you at, Roderick? There you are. Yep. Uh, convinced of the wretchedness of his cause. Da -da -da -da. He was eventually brought to justice by King Dorgalua and died of illness in captivity. Yeah. Alrighty. So you were taken after that, possibly by the ogres and the power of the dark. Nine. Really. Um. Bye, Saria. Okay, where's this a pit map? This is a pit map, but I'd like to think my characters just won't get near the pits and they'll be fine. I think these are once again the things that drop uh, the winged rings. Would really, really like some of those hippogriffs. All right, that's another enemy down. We did have some people get incapacitated, but uh, I don't know if that was some of the terms of condition or terms of victory or not. Two snub fusels. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, we were back to getting those. Uh, agility charms. Would have rather the decks, especially since it's five of them. My god. Yeah, that would have been cool, but oh well. Alright, Palace of the Dead 107. Just keep trucking along. Three? Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure I mentioned at one point that, uh, I wish there were more, like, three maps, and I, here we go, I got my wish. So, there you go. Go in there and take care of things, you three. There we go. That is a victory. That was three dragons, all which had dragon scales, so that could be a little bit annoying. Uh, we did get a Wiseman Staff, though. Another one. So, three Vitality Charms. I missed out on Agility Charms and Resistance Charms, but... No big deal. Alright, yeah, that was a- that was a pretty quick one. That was a pretty quick one, I'm down with that. Uh, looks like there's a break in the path here. Don't know which path I should go down. Um, I think from when I looked at the map earlier, there's one path that's shorter. Like, you only go to one thing, so I'll, I'll probably check while this level's happening to see what the shorter path is. Whew. Alright, there we go. There's another one done. God, these late game grinds are so long! Rabana's Kamenchi. That's cool. Don't have one of those. Neato. Alrighty. Hit me with it. Is this better than, uh, your harp, Urium? Uh... Does more damage. And you get, uh, you get the thing that applies misstep. Really don't care about that. Really, really don't care about that. So, that's... That's fine with me. Um, so we want to go... Yeah, we want to go to 109, I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me reconfirm. Yep, we want to go to 109. 109 will take us straight to 112, and then we just have 113, and then the dungeon ends on 114. Finally, at long last. Uh, well, this is certainly a map where everybody can fall off. Um, let's see. Olivia. 
The only character here who's not fine is Sestina. Because Sestina can't teleport, so... Sestina, get replaced by Vice. Alright, there's another one down. Wait, what? There's an enemy left? Oh, they're hiding. They're hiding behind the bit right there. Are they almost dead at least? How much HP do you have left, you bastard? Okay, hardly any HP. Good. Denim might be able to finish it off? No? Come on. It's one stupid little Cyclops. I would have been sad if Olivia fell off the cliff right there and died. Oh my God, Sherry! See, this is this is what the AI does sometimes. If you just killed the if you just killed the enemy, it wouldn't have mattered. But instead, you're like, no, I gotta revive my sister. I gotta. Oh, you stupid doofuses! Casual, please. Casual, please. Just wisp light. I swear, if you heal or something, okay. There we go. <laughs> The, the AI, using the AI battle makes my life a lot easier, but my god, can they be incredibly stupid sometimes. Um, I did actually get a pretty interesting drop from, uh, from this particular battle, so... If, uh, we go into our inventory right here... Um, I think I want to give this to Sherry, actually. We finally got our first, uh, relic book. Which is cool. The Gran Grimoire. Ooh, it also has MP charge. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, that's really cool. Actually lose intelligence putting it on? Really? Huh. That's wild. Yeah, I lose intelligence putting this on. I mean, I gain, like, strength, vitality, and dex, but I lose 4 int. And 12 resistance. Man, what's so good about the Biblion? I guess I guess this low no? Why do I lose so much intelligence or, or resistance from this? This only gives six resistance. And this gives yeah. Hmm. It looks like your RT will actually go down if I put this on though. So sure. Oh, oh, it's two-hand, that's why. Oh, oh, it's a two-hand, that, that would be why. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I see. <laughs> I've never run into a two-handed book before, so... That is interesting. Um, doesn't, uh, yeah, sir, yeah, you can use the two-handed book. Yeah, sure, why not? There you go, that's a big book. It's a chunky book. Alright, cool. Floor 112. What do we got? Uh, cockatrice. I got one of these stupid things. Or basilisks, rather. Okay. Yep, that looks like a fine squad to me. Go for it. Alright. There's another battle down. Uh, the Spriggan actually got aggroed, but I couldn't be asked to kill it. So, whew, we actually got a new relic drop there. Let's see what it was exactly. So it was like luminant gauntlets, I believe. There they are. Uh, ooh, they give boon of swiftness. Ooh, okay, wait, hold the phone. That's pretty good. That's better than your worm scale gauntlets. Gives you less strength, but it gives you Gives you int. What classes can can any of the mage classes even wear this? Not really. Weird that it gives you int then. I mean, I guess rune fencers could wear it. Well, I'll take it anyway, Denim. Here we go. You have some casts of Boon of Swiftness now, which will probably be useful. All right, 113, and then that's the final bit right there. Oof. This looks like a short one as well. Yeah, just uh, eight slots. Okay. Good, we are almost finished. That's a lot of golems. That's a lot of golems. Okay, we are done. There we go. Now we can actually tackle like final boss here. I got a Frude Helm. 
I also got another shield if I remember correctly. Um, so let me let me check that out really quickly. We haven't gotten very many helm relics, so this is interesting. Probably gonna be going on denim here. Oh, well, yeah, it seems pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, no, that seems good. There you go. Enjoy denim. I don't have any like l good legs for you now. These Archaeotros uh, trousers, but uh. All right, so what was the other thing I got? It was the shield. I mean, I can just look at all the new stuff that I've gotten down here. Yeah, yeah, the last thing I got was the shield. The Aegis. Beautiful, beautiful. All righty. Uh, oh, oh, it was 114. Oh, I thought 114 was it. Shit, it was 115. Oh, okay, never mind. We have, <laughs> we have one more floor. Damn it all. I thought it was... I thought it was 114. Okay, no, we gotta finish this one. Oh. No. Alright. That's... Okay, finally. Finally. Now, 115 definitely looks like a boss fight, so I think we're... I think we're good and done at this point. It's been two hours of recording. I'm not sure how long the video is at this point. Probably like... 15 minutes if I had to guess. Uh, there we go. Palace Chamber of the Seal. We are here. At the very deepest level of the Palace of the Dead. It's time for hope is long since past. Just like the ruins in the Hanging Gardens. We got another gate. Warren, I'm coming. This be a chaos gate. Is... is someone there? Warren? Warren! Is that you? Open the gate! Open it, and I shall be freed! <sighs> so we need to open the gate. But with what? Brynhilda? I mean, Ozma has it. The dark runs as deeply here as it did in the gardens. Please, the key! I'm coming, Warren! Behold the holy blade, Brynhilda, deifacted gift of the heavens. By that name most sacred, hear my plea. Gate divine! Earthly prison of accursed gods. Throw wide your doors. The Great Father commands it. There we go. Now we're opening the Chaos Gate. And Roderick's gonna come popping out all ogre ogreified, right? There's Warren. Hey, Warren. Warren. Glad you were still updating your report while while in hell. Why is the chaos gate open? <laughs> I thought I thought that was I thought that was a little suspicious. That Warren was like, "Oh yeah, definitely open the chaos gate. Do it. Yeah. Then then I'll be free and everything will be great." I was definitely suspicious of that. I was like, "Huh? Is Warren um, has Warren been turned into an ogre?" Wait, I, that wasn't you calling out for help? It most certainly was not. No, he comes. King Roderick comes. Bring it on. <clears throat> I've already completed- I've already done one bit of regicide. I can do another one. It is time. Scores to settle. Dues to be paid. Denim, we must send him back to the abyss. Bum ba da bum bum. Win with a knight, obtain a buff card. Well, if this is going to be anything like the previous fight, I probably want the Nalto in just in case they uh, they try to pull that bullshit where I can't revive people. So let's go ahead and put you in. Throw that on. 
Um, as far as everyone else goes, I think these are the characters. We'll probably get rid of Vice. Place you with, uh... Christina. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, I don't want Yuria either. Um, who would I want to replace Yuria? Saria or Vice? Vice can come in over that, I guess. Vice, you are useful for the, for the items, so... Uh... Yeah, everyone else uh, I think I'm pretty happy with. Gildas, Mirden. Alright. Let's go ahead and cancel everyone's AI, because I'm going to be on the wheel this time. <clears throat> oh, whoa, what is this gap? Well, I don't like that. Okay, and of course we're, we're dealing with the clones again. Hmm. Vanquish Roderick, 2,000 HP. Oh god, and Warren's over there. Oh, Jesus. All must be destroyed. I will have vengeance! What is that? King Roderick, the king of Brigantis. He fought with King Dorgalawa in the Great War. King Roderick? But I thought he was killed in the war. His body is long since turned to dust, but he was drawn into the abyss by a different route than was King Dorgalawa. Oh my god, you're so far away. You're so far away, Warren. <laughs> and Denim's running at you. <laughs> oh no. Warren! Oh my god, that's a... Oh. Horrible position for you to be in. It is awful. Oh god. Well, we're gonna have to get Donalto over there as quickly as possible. As soon as Vice's turn comes around, I'm probably gonna Buna Swift this Donalto. Warren, please run to me. Yes, run to me, you idiot. Run, you fool. <clears throat> if Denim, like, touches you or Dorgalawa, you're probably dead. I've worked way too hard for this. At least none of the enemies have, like, MP yet, so we got that going for us. Um... Run, Donalto. Okay, we have we have pretty good range on our heals. Oh, you don't even have heal four, damn it. Yeah, it's Kashua that has the heal four. Hmm. Unin, stay away. Donalto, you're, you're fine, you can... I don't care about evil Donalto, what's he gonna do? Preach at me. Okay. Go, Sestina. Uh, yep. Let's go to me. Uh-uh, don't you dare. <gasps> Run, Warren! Good to see you out of that infernal gate, Warren. Oh, cool, you two have dialogue. Denim to thank. Why did you not stop him? You know full well that operating the Chaos Gate is folly. Well, you've a queer way of showing your gratitude. He was bent on helping you out. And who can blame him? Th then you're all fools. Fortune smiled on us in the gardens, but there is no guarantee things will go so well this time. Which is why we needed you to keep us safe, old man. I love Gildas. Gildas continues to just be the, the best. No, Gilda, stop! <laughs> oh my god! Good to see you in one piece, Warren. You shouldn't have worried about me. I was already freeing myself from the Chaos Gate. Well, you sure were taking your sweet time. You were gone a whole scale, old man. There's a time for sitting around trusting in prophecies, and there's a time for action. An entire scale? Is that how long it's been on the surface? For me, the fight with King Dorgalawa took place only three days ago. Time must flow differently here and on the surface. Oh well, yeah, it hadn't been that long for you. What were you eating in there? Uh, that or the dark air down here has rotted your brain. Pull it together, or it's all our hides. God, saving Warren here is going to be rough. At least he's actually kind of like running towards me. Canopus, I don't know if you can fly all the way over there, but it would be really nice if you could. For now, just shoot Shadow Cherry. There you go. 
We're glad to have you back with us, Warren. Thank you for having the dialogue play quickly, game. Merton, you went along with this foolhardy rescue as well. Oh, didn't you predict we would be coming after you? Uh, perhaps I was wrong to confide in you after all. The sermon can wait until the fighting's over, if you don't mind. <laughs> Alrighty. We gotta we gotta move everyone. We gotta schmove. Roderick's turn is coming up again. Yeesh. Uh okay, you know what? Screw the screw the buffing Donalto. Let's get uh Kashua. Kashua can get over there faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Owie. Uh please don't don't do it. How could he lose his body? but still enter the gate. Roderick used forbidden magics in an attempt to achieve victory. When he died, his spirit lingered on in the world above until it was drawn to this place. The dark took him and the hatred within his soul. Fortunately, I knew a method for staving off the dark, or I would have been taken too. Warren! <laughs> I gotta get to you! <laughs> oh my god, you're so far away! <laughs> Why do you have to be so far away? Denim, don't do it! <laughs> oh god, at least you're tanky. At least you have a lot of resistance. You know what? Let let's look at you. Let's look at you really quickly. Oh my god, you only have a thousand HP. You have the Staff of Purification. You got some Mage Smith. Oh gods. Oh gods, run you fool. You don't even have like any items to heal yourself or anything. Yeah, getting Cashwell over there really is my best bet. Cashwell is my best bet. Canopus, stop! <laughs> they all have magic to slowly chip you down with. All this yes, engulf, engulf, engulf. Please. Yes! Okay, okay, I can reach you with that. I can't reach you with the- Oh wait, no, I can reach you with heal. Okay, 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 okay. Heal, heal, heal. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> All the enemies are so close to you, though. Oh my god. Run, Warren! To me! Yes, yes, oh my god, thank you god. The AI is actually moving in a good direction. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. I thought that was gonna knock you off. I would have been so mad. Gildas, run. Run, 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 run. Uh... Okay, we're good. There. You know what? Shoot Sherry. Sorry, Sherry, eat shit. You're kind of scary. Good old scary Sherry. Okay, we got a Hellhound to use. Um, I can hit Denim and- or Vice and Sherry. That'll do pretty good damage. That's a dead Sherry. There we go. Beautiful. That's good, because Sherry hits like a truck. Okay. We're, we're making it over there. Um... We can hit Vice from right here. This might be enough to kill. Nope, not quite. Alright. Good, good, good. Donalto, just go ahead and drop the heal. Let's get to me. Alright, now it's my uh, my Olivia's turn. Alright, Warren, just continue running. Preferably don't let Roderick touch you. Oh god, they all have the stupid mending salves as well. Oh god! Oh! I mean, at least we- at least we had the-, the that reflection from Sestina, but my god. Ooh, we gotta watch out for reflection on their Sestina. Oh, I think you just killed yourself. <laughs> Almost! Oh god, Sestina, that reflection's coming in very handy right now. <laughs> okay, you can't quite make it over there. Um, that's not enough to kill Olivia. 
Almost. But oh my god, that reflection from Sestina is so clutch at the moment. That's a dead Sherry. Don't do it, Roderick. I'm watching you. Crested units cannot be revived. Ugh. Okay, Cashew's turn is coming up. Cashew's turn is coming up. Uh. Hey, you. Uh. Sorry, sister. I killed you once, I'll kill you again. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, just heal, just heal. Heal Warren, please. I, I wish I could get an item to you. I don't have enough to heal you. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, God, cannabis is fast, too. Ooh, this is not good. You have what's it called active right now, don't you? Risk management. God, Warren. Yeah, you have risk management active. Um. Really wish I had enough MP to drop a heal on you. I'm barely short on heal. That blows. Alright, I'm gonna try to manipulate the AI a little bit. Maybe if you're low health, instead of trying to attack Warren, you'll just heal yourself. Please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we manipulated the AI. Uh, okay. Um. Still don't know how I'm gonna keep you alive here. Um. We're still, we're still not out of the woods. The, the, I can maybe get Gildas in position to heal you. But honestly, I think denim and stuff is just gonna kill you. Yeah, no. I think Warren's boned. I think Warren's boned. You were so far away. It was gonna be so incredibly hard to get to you. Donalto's turn is coming up. He might be able to reach you. Yeah, I think Donalto will be able to reach you actually. Okay, that's something. Oh my god, you got a mother's blessing too. Donalto, please, for the love of god. Okay. That's 518. <laughs> oh, it's scary. Stop it, Yunin! Don't you do it. Denim! Dark spells form. Denim, you stupid fucking prick! <sighs> oh my god. Warren! Oh wow, and that's just a game over. What the hell? Denim? I, what am I supposed to do about Denim? Retry from mid battle, I, I guess. Shit, what am I supposed to do about Denim doing so much damage to the fucker? Uh Let's let's try and manipulate things a little bit here. Am I gonna have to like put in a bunch of generics into this battle? I think Denim's gonna do this no matter what. I think Denim's just gonna walk up and overwhelm no matter what. The only thing I could think of to make this slightly easier is just taking... Like, obviously I have to use Denim, but like, what would I do? Take off, like, Denim's weapon so he couldn't just nuke <laughs> Warren from 10 miles away? Okay, I've got a... I basically manipulated RNG so AI... so Kashua actually got to meditate and... can now heal Warren here, and then Donalto is gonna be able to heal Warren again. Don't know how much this is. You're attacking Kashua instead of. That's kind of nice. Um, I also cast um, what's it called on uh, Donalto, uh, Boon of Swiftness, so we can have that going at least. Deno enemy enemy denim is a problem. Absolutely, unequivocally a problem. You're just gonna you're just gonna nuke poor Warren every opportunity you get. And that's bad. Okay, Donalto's turn is coming before all the enemies now. 
Okay, okay, this time we might be able to save... Might be able to save you. Okay. Okay, we're working with something here. Because I can at least make sure, thanks to this, that you survive... Oh, no, I can't, because... Don Donato didn't get, didn't get, what's it called? I don't think Warren's gonna survive the hit from Denim. 779, I think that's actually the exact amount of damage. Denim was like, also, he's gonna get hit by Yunin. Damn you, Denim! <gasps> Ozma, don't you do it! Ozma, you... Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god, what fucking sadist <laughs> at Tactics Ogre HQ decided to have a character survival mission when I'm fighting all of my hardest shit characters? Alright, alright Tactics Ogre. Is this how you want to play? Is this how you want to play? Is this how you want to do things, huh? Alright. Alright, this is if if this is if this is how you want things to go, fine. All right, this is the this is the crew I'm going into the battle with. I have all the characters that say anything, and I have basically as many healers and buffers as I can possibly get. So this is what we're going with. God, it's so hard to just get over there to you. We'll see. We'll see if things will work out better this way. The two white knights are the ones closest to you. So, maybe this will work out? D having all the other characters was just way too rough. They were so strong. Warren, with his thousand HP and old broken legs, had no way of getting away from them. Okay. Okay, this is maybe looking a little bit more manageable here. Gildas is still a bastard and is chasing... chasing... Uh, Warren down, but... We might be able to live now. The AI is at least targeting some of us instead of just focusing on Warren because he's the only place. Them putting him over there was so rude. <laughs> it's so mean. Ashwa, please stop spamming Heavenly Judge against me. It hurts a lot, okay? Um. Yeah, them putting hit Warren all the way over there. They knew what they were doing and they're assholes for it. Absolutely knew what they were doing. The jerks. My god. Warren, please run. Or Firestorm, that's that's fine too, I suppose. Alright, Cashua. Oh my god. Alright, now we just gotta keep Warren alive. Or just kill Roderick. I'm probably just gonna focus on killing Roderick. <laughs> as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, 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 are you? I bring only destruction. Darkness, give me strength. Let me judge them who took what was mine. The Manisha, or Galawa. To this land, I bring undying pain. Oh God, please stop. Please stop crying, you whiny bastard. Wham, I lost my war. Denim? Okay, you're just aqua blasting. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, god, Denim's range with those finishing moves made it so hard to let Warren live. <laughs> the enemy Denim was just like, uh, 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 you're not gonna get away from me. <sighs> Abyss. Oh, wow, I've never seen the, uh, the Dark Apocrypha before. That's interesting. Uh, hey, can you, uh, go ahead and die for me? Ooh, I could kill Mirden. Let's do that. Bye-bye. One less enemy to deal with. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, this is much, much more manageable now. Thank God, I needed it. Um, you still have- oh, you don't have what's it called active. Oh, never mind. Uh, Howling Rage would do the most damage, though. So let's, uh, hit you with that from back here. Yeah, you don't have it active. Okay, we can just beat you up. One thing wrong. I fought for country. 
walk victory. Why do you not understand? Victory is glory. Pride on our homeland. It is I should rule Valeria as a rightful king. Wow, you really died mad about it, huh? Uh, sure, give me that avoidance card. I think we're good here now. Yeah, just just limiting the amount of in, of units that I had in the battle made things so much easier. Poor Warren had such a hard time surviving against my hit squad that I currently have. <laughs> With long-range magic and all kinds of other attacks. The poor, the poor old guy never stood a chance, really. Donalto, don't you do it. Donalto, you bastard. You're such a bitch, Donalto. So mad at you, you old prick. <laughs> With your stupid mending salves. <laughs> Do you know how hard I worked to get that HP that low? <laughs> oh my god, and they copy all my stupid items too. Uh, mending salves are so strong. I've been using them against all of the enemies thus far, and now it's finally coming back to bite me in the ass. Haha, ha, Denim, you stupid prick. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, uh, yeah, no, can't do that. Gonna have to Chariot Terra back there. Uh, if I want to revive you... Oh, this is a different... Ooh, that's a problem. Yeah, this is, um... Since I restarted the fight, I changed Analto to the other thing then, but I have since not changed Analto to it now. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem. So, we're on a- we're on a three-turn time limit to go ahead and finish this. If you teleport right into me, though, that makes my life a lot easier. Um, if I could just have everyone... Wail on you really quickly. You should go down since you're not near near your allies anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. How much will this do? 184. So do 383. 503. Now, how much will this do? Okay, that's better. That's the best I'm gonna get. Okay, I just have to kill you before Murden disappears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, move back here. Can't revive any of my characters, so that's something to think about. Unfortunately, because of that stupid thing, my attack's gonna hit Gildas' body. Yeah, and I can't reach you with, like, Heavenly Judge at all. Okay, well that sucks. Yeah, so it only hits you twice instead of the amount of times it should hit you. Um, don't think this is quite going to be enough to kill you, and I think Donalto and Kashawar are just going to heal you. Um... I'm just going to Vile Wound you, I suppose. Don't think you can be poisoned, but... Oh no, you're just going to Heavenly Judge. Well, you almost killed... Okay. Oh, but Warren's almost dead too. Warren, if you could just finish the boss off... Okay, Donalto didn't heal the boss. Warren, please. Warren, please, you stupid AI scum. I hate you. I actually hate you. Old man, die. <laughs> just die. <laughs> God damn it, Warren, you stupid idiots. You could have ended the fight. <laughs> oh my God. Kashua, please. <laughs> oh my god, Warren, you stupid idiot. Uh, I, I, this will end it. This will end it. My god. <laughs> Possible. I will not accept. <sighs> Man, you know what's great? The hardest fight thus far in the game? 
Oh, cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I get three guidebooks for this? Oh my god, that means I don't have to go grind for them. I was gonna have to go back and get shift stones um, so that I could uh, grab those and come back in here to fight Blackmore, but now I don't have to do that. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And I also got the Heaven's Fork, which I think I need for something? <clears throat> I could craft the Heaven's Fork. I had the stuff for it, but... <sighs> you know, yeah, yeah, you know what's great? You know what's great? The poopy AI when fighting the Deadly Dwarves in the game. I mean, that was fun. That was fun. Despite... Don't, don't take... Don't take my, my whining for, like, uh, like, legitimate frustration. I was still having a good time, but my god, Boren. <laughs> you stupid idiot. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you, Kashua. Thank you, sir, for saving the king. You're welcome. You again. Now I can finally leave this dungeon. What's your name? I'm Roderick. Roderick Desmoria. Roderick? You! Best close the Chaos Gate soon. Or it will come out. So long, sir. And thanks again. Corin! Can you do it? I shall try. Dark gateway to the abyss. In the name of all the gods, close! Never to open again! Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I can't believe you're returning home so soon. At least stay for the coronation. I feel it would be impolitic for a Zenobian to participate in the procession. I see, I see. So this is this is their explanation for Warren not being in the uh, the final cutscenes and stuff. That is to say, if you truly want for us to attend, you should extend the same offer to Lodis. Only if both Zenobia and Lodis stand in attendance at the crowning of Queen Vesalia will your independence be true. If only one attends, the other will perceive it as a slight. Wars have begun over less. Especially if that other is Lodis, though I hardly need tell you that. Do you think Lodis would accept, were we to extend our invitation? That they would. Lodis is a proud country. They would not decline an invitation to a coronation. If they come, we will be only too happy to attend. Ah, too much talk, old man. Denim saved your life, and all you can say is if, win, but. Whatever happens, Denim, know we will always be friends to Valeria. Give our congratulations to Kashua, and let us know if you ever need us. We'll be here swifter than the wind. Thank you, Warren. Canopus. Aye, Denim. Know I'll be most upset if I don't see you in Zenobia soon. You owe us a visit. And... You should see the land Lancelot risked his life to build, with your own eyes. I shall. There we go, Warren wants to join the party. You stupid old man. <laughs> I'm very happy to have you though, Warren, God. Warren has joined the Order of Shadowscale. The Dark Warlord Slayer, we have done it. So now we're gonna be working our way into three. Uh, so cool, yeah, now that I have three sets of palace guides, I do not have to worry about going back and grinding for more shift stones. That, that was a fantastic drop. <clears throat> and I also have the Heavenly Fork, so uh, let's check out the Warren Report, why don't we? The war is at an end, and peace has returned to Valeria. Reconstruction work is moving at a swift pace across the lands, and although trade has not reached its previous levels, it recovers day by day. Markets once again throng with people, and fresh vegetables and fruit from faraway countries line the stalls. The lively seafaring country of Valeria is back to its old self. Yet many still bear the wounds of war. Veterans of the fighting are left scarred, dealing with lost limbs, blindness, and paralysis. 
Princess Versalia has ordered these soldiers be granted a benefit through the Order of Falaha. This may cost up to a quarter of the kingdom's budget, and could climb to almost half if compensation for civilians is also approved. Those dealing with post-war matters such as these are at a loss to help those suffering trauma from the horrors they faced in the war. In many cases, the trauma affects the everyday lives of victims, causing insomnia and anxiety, and it can only be alleviated through medicinal means. Sufferers sometimes turn to drink as a way of escape, and it is clear that this is a problem that cannot be resolved through medical care alone. Maruva Farena heads a committee dealing with the post-war recovery that pledges support to all, regardless of background, class, or profession. Those seeking help should inquire at the nearest Abbey. Well, that's cool. Glad that we're, uh, we're getting some help for the people that have been affected by the war. Alright, Zenobian of unknown origin who once led the mage's regiment of the Kingdom of New Zenobia. Though some would see- would call him a teller of fortunes, he is more aptly described as a seer. He came to Valeria along the Holy Knight Lancelot to recover the sword of Brynhildr at the behest of King Tristan. He joined the Wallace of Resistance after aiding Denim in freeing Duke Ronway from Almorica Castle. After being grievously wounded during the Bakram invasion of Rhyme, he began his recuperation at Armorica. However, sensing that Denim was in grave danger, he set out for the Hanging Gardens to assist him in the final battle. Though he managed to help the others escape, he himself became imprisoned within the Chaos Gate. Denim began his search for Ward and finally rescued him by opening the Chaos Gate in the Palace of the Dead. Ye. And King Roderick. His soul was sealed within the Chaos Gate at the Palace of the Dead, transforming him into a demonic revenant. He emerged from the gate once more when it was opened by Denim, but was sent back to the Abyss. Whew. Yeah, that fight would not have been nearly as hard. They they kind of made it difficult by making it so that you had to keep Warren alive. That was the main struggle there, was just keeping Warren alive. So... And yeah, the fact that the fight ended immediately, I was thinking like, oh, Warren dies, and then I can just chariot Terra back, which... I guess kind of happens anyway, it just throws you into a game over screen first. Instead of it just being like, all oh, Warren died, you can still finish the battle. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's check out our dork that we worked so hard to get. Hey, you idiot. 273 intelligence. Quite powerful. So you are fire elemental. Um, one thing I'm going to immediately search... You cannot use summons. You cannot use summons. So that's something to think about. You can use draconic spells. Uh, okay. Yeah. What are your skills like? Okay, you're maxed out with cudgels. You got spell books, aerial resonance, all the different resonances. Stardust Grace removes stun, silence, and petrify from friendly units within one tile with a 100% success rate. Interesting. Concentration. Oh, that's it, huh? Okay, so you're just, uh... You're just a fairly strong mage, huh? And that's it. I can't even use, uh, like, Salamander or anything on you. I mean, cool. I'm still glad to have you. Uh, any cool classes you can change into? I can make other people Astromancers, of course, but... Huh. I kind of expected Astromancer to have access to some more crazy things, but doesn't appear that you do. Yeah. You can't even use, like, Necromancy or anything crazy like that. You just have access to, like, Dark Magic. And, of course, the stuff. I do have a second Heavenly Judge I could give you. That's probably, like, the best thing I could put on you, but I would have to turn you to light to really make that worth it. I don't have a lot of very good Fire Magic. Well, I at least have, um, your class marks now, so I can turn other people into an Astromancer should I see the need. But like I said, not being able to use summons is a big, uh, is a big negative. I must say. Okay, um, in preparation for next time, I guess what I will be doing is... I, I'll might stream the process like tomorrow just assuming I have the time uh, of me going back into San Bronza which I'm going to have to do uh, to get the last wind god weapon and once we go into San Bronza I have enough of the palace guides to jump to floor 75 in Palace of the Dead then we can go to floor 100 fight Blackmore get the drop from Blackmore and then we can continue into Kodath 3 
Um, so... Huh. I think we are finally <laughs> approaching the end of this game. Uh, I think at this point it's definitely the lengthiest LP I've ever done. I've probably put the most time into this over anything else, even Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I believe, so... Whew. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.